Dan, uh, can we just get over the name first and get that question cleared? Albino yeah. peaches. Um, it was just an idea. It was um, we wanted something quite sixty sounding um, originally, and we looked at different kind of logos and things that had kind of fit in the old fashioned like. Um, the kind of swirl really, so it was more based around the logo than a name as such, but it kind of, I just think it's quite original to be honest. I googled it and there was nothing else came up, so I thought it was on top I mean, of you, when you say, I'm in the Albino Peaches, and people say, what type of band is that? Oh, what do you that's, say? that's when it's tough to describe, it's sort of, you sit there and you think about everyone's influences and then the influence of the band themselves, and I think it's, it's quite hard to actually label us as such. Because well, we've had a conversation off camera and you clearly have loads of influences in the band. Is that, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a good thing. I think, I think we rub off each other quite well as such. and It's hard because at times you can, I suppose you can be at loggerheads. I remember right, right, right at the start when we were writing stuff and your modern influences and our sort of like old influence as such and you sort of, but over time you fit in together, don't you, and it's like hand in the glove. Gigs coming along brilliant. We'd, we haven't done so many gigs, but over the summer we've done a few big ones. Like we went to Dan's hometown in Derby, and had a festival there. We played on the Sunday. Pretty big response. The first proper stage set up, like full full PA, proper blasted our sound out. And it's, gigging's all right, but as I say, we don't do a lot of it. We did start off doing quite a few gigs over two months, and then it stopped for a bit when we lost our second, I wouldn't say it's our second, we, our replacement bassist when Wes left and he pulled out again so we stopped gigging for a while and now Wes has been with us. We've done one gig since he's been with us and it's slowly taken off. You're taking this seriously? Yeah. What, what does it mean about having asked that question? What do you think that means, taking it seriously? Thinking of a future of, for the band. I think. I can say that's probably how I'd answer that question because I know that I want this band to go somewhere and know that we've got, we're certainly on a mission, that we've got, we've got a path to go down. Go on from that, that Dan, I mean where, where do you see yourself say in a year's time? Hopefully go from, we're kind of, the venues that we're playing at the moment are sort of 150-200 cap kind of um, Pubcom venues. I think it'd be good to get the next step to kind of the academies and you know looking more towards the major support slots and headline tours. We're going back to um, we're going back to Derby in November. We're playing Cambridge. Um, we've got a gig in Stortford. We've got a gig in London. So that's kind of well, obviously without Derby, it's kind of local at the minute. But I think we definitely want to go up and do some more gigs up north. Um, I think we'd fit in really well down there. We kind of slightly different to the rest of the pack down here. A bit like a black sheep, I think, in a way. In what way? So I, don't, I think that where we live, even though it's such a vibrant town and, you know, the square's a great venue and stuff, I think for the sort of style that we are, there's not much, there's no competition, which I think is a good thing, a very, very good thing. But at the same time, it's difficult because it's things like there's no bands there's no bigger bands than us that we can support that are coming into town. That's what makes it hard. It's one of the tricky things to yourself, you know, if you've got a full-time job and then come in in the evenings, mm. etc. there's going to be, and then you're talking about gigging, how do you make that work-life balance, I guess? It's pretty easy. It all flows, because I think there's only three of us, and we're all kind of, even though like they're splitting age, like you say, they're splitting age and the influence and stuff, when we come in, there's no battle with it. We write a hell of a lot of songs and it all comes really, really easy. So I think we all look forward to, to rehearsals and playing live and stuff, you know. It's a lot of enjoyment that we get out of it. <laughs>
take me home. I'm coming home